Hey everybody, this is another video about our Fortnite room project. I just wanted to make this video to show you that you can customize this project as much as you want um, so that it interests you. I've had a, a couple of students who are working on this project say, well, I don't really like Fortnite. And that's great. That's fine. Um, you really don't have to make your project Fortnite at all. We are learning some basic concepts by doing this project. We're learning about one point perspective which means you're learning how to make things go back into space like an optical illusion so that they look like they're 3D. So as long as you watched the first video that shows you how to build the basic room, the way that you decorate the room is really completely up to you. You don't have to put anything that's Fortnite. Um, in fact, I wanted to show you, I had another student who said they really like Minecraft and said, so if you'd rather do a Minecraft room, um, all you have to do is replace the textures with things that remind you more of Minecraft. So if you want to do the brick wall and um, you can do them different colors instead of doing a regular red brick for the brick wall if you make them a little bit bigger you can make big gray blocks and the way that you do this is you kind of you're gonna color them in gray light gray and then I like to take a black marker and outline them with a black marker. And then I like to take a darker gray color, or if you're using a crayon art color pencil, you can just color a little, push a little harder to make it darker and kind of go along the side of each block and the bottom of each block. And that's going to make it look like it's 3D, like it's sticking out a little bit. And you could do the whole background that way. Um, I basically took any texture I could find from the Minecraft game and kind of put it in the place. Here's the little bamboos. Whenever you're doing anything on the side walls, if it's something that's vertical, that means go straight up and down. They have to get closer and closer together as they go get closer towards the vanishing point. So I started off with them making, making them big and farther apart, and then they got a little closer together and smaller as they went back into space. So that's a good way to do that. To draw those little bamboos, those were pretty simple. They were just a matter of making two vertical lines that went straight down for the actual base part of the bamboo. And then from there, I made these little almost rectangles that kind of went across for the sections. That's one thing you can do. Uh, another thing you can do is if you watch the video on how to do the tile floor, make this a little darker, I think you'll see it better. There we go. If you watch the video on how to do the tile floor, you can then take these tiles and turn them into gems if you'd like. And the way that you do that is pretty simple. You take each tile and inside the tile, you make a smaller well, you're going to make little diagonals that come from the corners to the inside. And then you're going to draw a smaller tile inside of there and try and keep it um, as close to the shape of the outside of the tile as possible. And you could fill in like that. You can draw shapes in your room. It's, it's tricky to draw shapes in your room, and it's a lot of work because uh, you need to go back when you're done and erase all of the pencil that you drew on top of. But if you take a pencil and think about making things look like three-dimensional shapes, we practiced making these 3D cubes that go back to the vanishing point. So anywhere in your room, if you just start with a square, maybe I want a square floating up here. And you want to turn that into a three-dimensional looking cube. Make sure that your corners go back to your vanishing point. Zoom out a little for you. I'm making my diagonals go back. And then don't forget to close it off. Now you can turn these into anything that's that three-dimensional shape. This could be a bed, this could be a couch, this could be um, a block of dirt if you're doing something Minecrafty. 
This could be a square looking cloud. This could be a bookshelf. You could turn these into whatever you want and wherever your ma imagination takes you.
All right, here is an example of my Minecraft room that is finished up, or at least pretty close to it. If I want to go back and add some more details, um, I looked at texture a lot. So if I want to go back and add some more texture to these tiles, I can just put a few kind of wobbly, wiggly looking ovals in here to kind of look like clumps of dirt. Um, I colored everything in. I made a little picture frame for on the wall so that I can add whatever art kind of picture I want in this frame. I turned this into a cloud, but it was made out of squares. I probably would go ahead and color that, blue, that sky in blue. Maybe I'd make the wall a different color and then figure out what kind of picture I wanted for in there. Maybe it would be a pickaxe or a portrait of Steve for my Minecraft uh, themed room. 